Hi, I'm Linda Mao, and welcome to Art This Week. In this week's episode, we speak with the artist Kenny Scharf about his installation in the Modern's exhibition, Urban Theater, New York Art in the 1980s. Now for Art This Week. Hi, I'm Logan Smith, and I'm here at the Modern with artist Kenny Scharf in his room, Cosmic Closet. Um, I'd like to welcome Kenny with us today. Um, thank you for taking the time to speak with us My today. My pleasure. So I'm just going to um, first ask, how did you come up with the idea for the Cosmic Closet back in your original apartment in New York City? I had a, was living in a kind of ramshackle uh, old house in the middle of near Times Square and uh, I found a door, opened the door, and it was solid um, crap. <laughs> like you couldn't get past the door. So I said, you know, in real estate is obviously uh, valuable. Sure. So I was like, I'm gonna clean all this stuff out. And then I, it was a, a, a long kind of hallway closet, about half the size of this room. And uh, I just started using some of the stuff. Uh, I have been into, before that, and always, um, garbage. I, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with garbage and things I find in the trash. And I had just come upon a black light, uh, one of those black lights that come with the poster. <laughs> so I put it in the room, and I just started collecting garbage from the street, putting it in the room, painting it fluorescent, and just was really excited by, by it. And it just kept growing, basically. Very cool. So would you consider yourself a hoarder? <laughs> a hoarder? Yes. <laughs> a recycler? <laughs> yes, I am a recycler, uh, although I use it, obviously. Right. It's not just it lying beautiful. around in my way in my house. <laughs> I don't like it in my house, but I do like it in these installations. Well, this show is called Urban Theater, New York in the 1980s. Can you tell us what it was like to be an artist in New York City in the 1980s? How much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> that would Maybe be a the long green, time. The, the summary of the essence of well, being you an know, artist in the 80s in New York City. It was a, a very exciting time. Uh, you know, I was uh, young and uh, there was just an incredible energy going on. Uh, so many artists, musicians, every kind of art was, everyone was doing everything. It wasn't just, you know, if you were a painter, it didn't mean you weren't also in a band and you weren't also doing it. So everything was kind of like all mixed up and there was literally uh, an event that you could not miss every single night of the week. Um, it was a real heady time to be in the city. Sounds fun. Do you miss it? Um, no, actually. I mean, I miss, I miss a lot of the people that are no longer here. Um, but I'm happy, you know, that I went through that time. But I'm actually very happy to be in this time right now. Uh, you know, I, I love to, I'm very proud of my past and the way where I, you know, came up and from, but at the same time, I'm not uh, immersed in nostalgia. I'm, I'm very much part of the moment. And I know that this show has a lot, is about the 80s and this room got its origins in the 80s, but for me, it's very much alive now. I'm just made this now. Uh, I made something, another one, about a month ago in Brazil. Uh, I'm doing another one next month. So is this part of what I do? Sure. Part and of I made my language, and I and my, and I came up with everything back then. But it's something that I believe in, and it's very much alive. So sure. the show is funny. I'm, Back in the 80s, I was included in a few shows similar to this. Obviously, it wasn't the 80s, and it was now. 
And here we are, uh, 30 something years later, and it's a similar show, and it's very exciting for me to see it because I feel um, it doesn't look dated to me. I look around uh, at everything, and it looks very much like if you didn't, someone didn't tell you it was from the 80s, you wouldn't really know that it wasn't hap made right now, which I find very refreshing. We want to thank Kenny for speaking with us. You can find more information on him at kennysharf.com. More information on The Modern and the exhibition can be found at themodern.org. That's it for Art This Week. Thanks for watching. I still got your polo